How's Nathan? Oh, he's the big boss now. He's running the DPA. <laughs> he's come a long way since the days of our little lab. And you? What are you working on? I'm running a small group. We're trying to classify types of entities, see if they're different species, that kind of thing. It's not the highest priority, but I get to do what I want. So. Have they made any progress on the infraworld? Oh, they've sunk millions into developing a new condenser, the most powerful ever created. Of course, that was only possible once the army got involved. What I talked to you about? Did you find out anything? <laughs> On the day you were born, a woman named Nora Gray had a child in the DPA hospital. Her child was declared stillborn. Where is Nora now? She was interned in a psychiatric hospital just after she gave birth. According to her file, she should still be there now. My mother's been in a, in a mental hospital for 24 years. I mean, why? What happened? That's all the file said. I'm so sorry. I've got to go see her. Jody, I know how you feel, but she's in a mental hospital. You might not get the answers you're looking for. I'm not looking for answers. I just need to see her. I mean, don't you understand? She's my mother. If I look her in the eye, I could find out who I truly am. Jody. She's in a high-security DPA facility, and you're wanted by every law enforcement agency in the country. You won't be able to walk right in. Nothing's gonna stop me from seeing her. Look. You've taken a huge risk. Thank you, Cole. Hey. You didn't think I was going to let you go alone, did you? Judy. No guard on gate, empty parking lot, something doesn't feel right. I'm not back in 30 minutes. Just go. Girl, I didn't come here to wait in no car. Cole, Cole, wait. to see Nora Gray? Can I see your authorization? Maybe we can go without authorization this time. I mean, maybe we can just come to some kind of an arrangement. I'm sorry. All visitors must have correct authorization. Seventh floor, room 43. So far, 
so good. First. Have a look around. Nice, Aiden. Now unlock the door. Come on. Far away. Jesus. Crazy folk really freaked me out. Can we find room 43 and get the hell out of here? Wait here. Jody, she may have lost her mind. She might not even know you're there. Maybe you shouldn't go in. It's me. 
داره Take care of everything. It's for the best. You know that. Oh, that's my baby! Bring her back! I've changed my mind! I want my baby! It's a danger quickly! Oh, Get the baby oh, out of here! Make sure she never regains consciousness. Sorry, Jody.
most powerful condenser ever created. Impressive, isn't it? Nathan! Oh. George, it's good to see you. I was so afraid something happened to you. You've lost weight. You look exhausted. But at least you're alive. Let's go into my office. Please, have a seat. How do you feel? <laughs> um, I've been better. That hit on the head did not help. No, I'm sorry. I told them not to hurt you. They just didn't want to give you a chance to use item. Where's Cole? He's at home. He's fine. I know he was trying to help you. Don't worry, there won't be any consequences for last night. How did they find me? They've been tracking you ever since you escaped. They wanted to kill you. But I convinced them to wait for a while, watch you from a distance. What happened to my mother, Nathan? Nora was unstable. They were afraid she was a danger to herself and her baby. My mother would never hurt me. They couldn't take that chance, look. I was a researcher at the DPA, Jody. I didn't discover until much later what happened. Why did you never tell me about my mother? Why did you hide the truth all these years? I tried to tell you. But how do you tell a little girl that her life isn't real? So, I looked after you, loved you, tried to protect you as best as I could. So now what? You're just gonna hand me back to the CIA? Is that the plan, Nathan? They brought you here because they have something for you to do, and they'd be very grateful if you do it. You're asking me to help the people who wanted to kill me? Is that what you're asking me, Nathan? Listen, Jody. Why should I listen to you? You work for them, and you lied to me about my mother and my parents, and for what? The money, or the power, or the fame? Oh, stop that, Jody. You know that's not true. I know nothing anymore. We know another country has discovered the infraworld. They think it's something to be controlled or manipulated. They have no idea what they're dealing with. If entities enter our world, do you know what that would mean, Jody? What has all this got to do with me? Because you know the infraworld better than anyone. It's the CIA's job. 